Hello, everybody and every pony and every fan. It is me. Hello, nerdette and... Hello, every nerd, nerdette and noob. Hello, everyone. It is me. As I said, I'm Ashley. Nice to meet you. Um, and today, I just have a cluster of oh, things. That's why I don't really have a name for you today. That's why I called you bronies and nerds and everyone because I just have some weird stuff, some nerd stuff, and some pony stuff. And I don't feel like doing separate videos for just a couple of things. So it's gonna be a cluster video. I am sorry. As I was saying. Um, let's start off with the everybody stuff. Went to Target. I got gel pins. Really nothing special about them. They work really well. They were a dollar. Gel pens, four pack, a dollar. Neon, as according to the back, four pack, four pack gel pens. Already used some of the pink. It is very bright, very useful, very colorful. I find that cheap gel pens work better than expensive gel pens, so they work wonderfully. Got them at Target, in the little dollar area. Um, next, I went to Bath, Bath and Body Works. Almost said Bed, Bath, and Body Beyond. Uh, I don't know what my brain's doing today. <coughs> my grandma, um, <coughs> joking. My grandma got some lotion and I got two perfumes because I like to do the three for ten. That's what I always do, no matter what. Um, there's a coupon for um, some new pumpkin fall stuff in my bag. I like coupons. Coupons are good. I like coupons. But I, I, I never use coupons. I just have coupons. Because by the time that I get to use the coupons, they're expired. Yeah. I'm slightly hyper today. I'm sorry. Um, and my hair is a mess because I've been running around since 10 this morning. And I woke up at 1 in the morning and played League of Legends. I'm tired. I'm sorry. But the stuff that I got. Paris Armor, which is my absolute favorite. Has to be my absolute favorite of them all. And then I got this because I've never tried it. It's Nepal? Napa? 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 Um, Autumn Blackberry. I'm gonna try it on right now, actually. It's not coming out yet. Oh! Oh, I like that! It's a light fruity. It's a very light fruity. I like it. I like fruity stuff. Cause I'm fruity. No I'm not. <laughs> oh dear. That was an awful joke. Alright, um... Also got this huge coke! Apparently it's 24 ounces instead of 20 ounces. It just looks like ginormous. This is why I have cavities! Yay! Went to Walmart, got my eyes checked, got me some new glasses, I got transition lens. Yeah. Um, I got two gift cards for my trip. I got a Nintendo 3DS gift card, and I got an iTunes gift card. So I can get music and games to play on my trip to Disney! What are you eating? Quit that. Sorry, my cat was eating something off the floor. And that's kind of dangerous in my room. Um, last but not least, the every pony, every brony, and every fan part of this video. Because it is the most exciting. And you might have seen a corner of it because it was tangled with some stuff. I've been looking for this since it came out and I finally found her. I'm so happy. I finally found Sunset Shimmer. 
Now, if you guys know me very well, I normally keep things in the boxes. But, as of recently, I have decided that for the non, like, fella, fella, quit it, quit eating things, um, for the non, um, exclusive toys and the toys not from 2010 when they first came out, the newer toys aren't going to be worth much in the future. Because as a trend, as I've looked up, like Target exclusive, Walmart exclusive, not so much, not so much, but like Target exclusive, Toys R Us exclusive, those are normally what collectors want in package. So those are what I'm going to save. But anything that is not an exclusive, or I just personally would rather keep in the box, like my uh, Flower Philly set, that I will keep in the box, just because I like it in the box. But anything that I feel will not be collectible worthy to keep in package, I will take out. These, because of the popularity of Friendship is Magic, these are way overproduced so there won't be anybody you know like scrounging for them like the first Twinkie you know so I opened it and in the future maybe even today if I feel like reviewing which I probably won't because I'm tired I will probably open up some stuff so I can you know start weeding out my shelf because the less boxes I have, the more room I have for more stuff! Isn't that logic wonderful? I think so. And I think my boyfriend will appreciate it. Um, because I don't know how things are going to work when he gets back home um, from military stuff. But when he does, and if, I don't know, like a year in the future we're living together, I pretty sure he would appreciate my collection to be in a minimum of a shelf. Not three. And this is all my collections. Slightly easy to get out of the package. No real problem there with like extra tapes and such. Um, let's see what is on their little pamphlet. Cluster of Girls is on it. Ugh! What are you? <gasps> Yay! It's a new poster from my wall! It's really damn folded. It's the new, uh, Princess Twilight, Alicorn Princess Twilight Sparkle, um, the big ginormous toy. Okay. Let's see, what do they have on the back? The neon bright blind bags, which have yet to be at any Walmart that I've ever seen. These, which are not out yet at any Walmart I have ever seen. I live in a very poor area. Um, these, I already have both of those. The crystal motion ponies, which I need to find, fella. Um, the Princess Twilight Alicorn uh, Coronation Celebration cars. The Mrs. Dazzle Cake. Or the Princess Celebration Bakery, as it's called. With Mrs. Dazzle Cake and a Peppermint Twist. What did they call you? I can't remember, but she is adorable. She's the cutest little filly in the world. Here are the um, Masquerade Ponies as of now. Oh, fella. Sorry, my cat's old and I'm trying to figure out where he's going. There is the castle. Um, there's the wrong side. There's the big Twilight that I was talking about. She's huge. I seen her today. She had to be like that tall. She's huge. Like double the size of the talking Celestia. She's huge. Um, the newest fashion style uh, cadence and Twilight I heard were awful. The quality was awful. And design a pony Luna. And then some so soft stuff that I don't care about. 
There's the Littlest Sosoff Luna, no, Lullaby Moon. And uh, So Soft Tickle and Giggle Lily. And if you care about those, you can Google them. Because I don't like them, they're creepy. Anyway, on to the uh, pony that we were here to see. Let me get her little rubber bands off. I really hate rubber bands. Oh, I forgot about her comb. She has a little plastic boot on. Alrighty. Her um, mask is made out of paper, so be warned. Um, ah. There we go. Well, aren't you pretty? Let me get your brush out. Part of her plastic thing fell out, but... Okay, let me brush through your tail. She comes with just, you know, a normal pony pink comb with a hole in it. I don't know why they keep putting holes in them. No idea. It's probably a design that they had for other generations and just sort of like, hey, combs are combs. But this is her tail. It's a very pretty mix of both the orange and uh, reddish orange. I would say that this is more of a reddish orange in her hair, personally, just because I'm a color freak. Um, so it's not really a red. It's more of a orange. No, it's more of a red. No. It's an orange tinted red. There we go. Um, yeah, I might keep her hair like this just for display purposes, just because it's a natural factory curl and later down the road I'll fix it. She has some loose hair just wrapped in her neck. I'm gonna pull out real quick. It's not one to come out very easily. There we go. <laughs> she has very pretty like aqua like sea green. Oh, she has a bad dented tear in her eye. You can't really tell, but you can kind of tell it's right there. Just the seam. Or it's slightly, slightly off in the molding, I guess. But nothing too big. No picky. No worry. No picky. She's a unicorn, obviously. Um, how would I describe her? Body-wise, color-wise. I would say she is a mustard orange yellow with a orange tinted red with a lemon yellow twist. Same with her tail. And then her cutie mark is like a Japanese sunrise. Like, this is how I imagine, like, in the old, like, like, the old dynasty, like, paintings. You know what I'm talking about. Like, old style, like, ancient Japan type paintings. This is how I would depict how the sun would look. It's almost like a yin-yang of itself. Um, her mask has her cutie mark and then is purple like a sunset in the sky would turn the co turn a sunset when it sets it turns the sky up this purple in my mind and she has like some uh, eyeshadow going on to match the redness of her uh, hair 
so it kind of gives her a um, eyeshadow. It's kind of hard to get on because I'm so terrified. See, there we go. I just broke it. I pulled ever so slightly. Okay, I didn't break it, break it, but now I did. Um, let's see, do I have my tape over here? I do. I already went over the 15 minutes. I really hope, really, really hope that YouTube lets me post this now. Mm, I made it too big. No, I don't have my scissors! Oh, yeah, I do. I just dropped her! <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, let's, let's just get a smaller piece. Just get a little small piece of tape. If they'll rip. Okay. Tiny small piece of tape. There. Um, kids will probably rip this in half in two seconds, like I just keep doing. I just can't win today. That's how it'll look. Uh, of course, out of all the reviews I've seen my friends do, of course I'd be the one to break it. Break it. It looked like it had some factory error anyway. Like it wasn't put in right or folded right. Oh goodness! <laughs> of course, I'd be the one that'd break it. Okay. Now it's on her face. That's enough for me. And with that, I will let you guys go. Thank you for watching my super, super long review. I didn't mean it to be this long. It just ended up that way. I'm sorry. I just ramble, 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 and talk and talk and talk. So yeah. Sunset Shimmer and me would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bro Huff.